There we go. We're fishing x wrap pops. And then one thing about fishing topwater for smallmouth, it's some of the funnest fishing you can have, period. Not a giant, but absolutely exploded on that bait. First cast, that's a good sign. Bait out of its mouth. Like I said, not a giant, but man, absolutely crushed it. Get this girl back in the water. I don't even have the trolling motor down yet. First cast. <laughs> You know, it's post-spawn. We just had a major cold front come through, and this is the first day of calm winds, calm weather. The sun literally just popped out about an hour ago. We're fishing these extra pop, and you know, I'm working it slow. I'm, I'm putting long pauses in between, and they're hitting it on the pause. Look at that sucker, man. He just wailed on it. It's really important to put those big long pauses in there because they're just rolling up on that bait. They're not coming up out of the water and drilling it. Oh, look at another one chasing it. Big fish, big fish. Oh, and look at that. He just inhaled that x wrap pop. You know, just because I'm fishing it slow doesn't mean the fish aren't aggressively hitting it. I'm just working it slow and putting those long pauses so they can come up and look at it, hit it. You know, a lot of these fish, because it they are post-spawn, and because we've had these big cold fronts, I mean, surface temps are really only in the lower 60s right now. So these fish are just starting to turn on to that top water bite, so it's really important to just pause. Look at that, just inhaled that bait. That's a great sign. Nothing better than a top water bite, I tell you what. Absolutely exciting, that's a nice fish right there. I'll get this girl back in the water. Just pulled into this spot, pitched it out there. You know, it's really hard when, when you've got a pause like that because topwater is such an exciting bite in general. And when you've gotta keep those pauses in there, it, you know, it's really important, especially with these post-spawn fish. They're just starting on this topwater bite. You know, it's really important to kinda to keep those pauses in there and not get too excited and pop, 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 pop away. You gotta add those pauses. And you really got to train yourself to do that, to add that pause. Angry. Oh, not a bad smallmouth. Another nice fish. Nice good color to them. Love catching those bronze backs. What an exciting, fun bite when you can get them on surface baits. Bam. Now that one was a little more aggressive. You know summertime's arrived when you're getting smallmouth bass on top water. Everything you love in an X wrap, built in a popper. There we go, another nice bass. I'm using a number seven X pop, you know, perch color. That's the thing is a lot of these smallmouth are feeding on not only crayfish, but perch as well. And this seems to be a really good color out here on Mille Lacs for these big bronze backs. You know, today I'm using a perch color. I like to stick with a lot of natural colors, especially in these clear glacial lakes. But once you start to get into that stained water, I'll go to real bright colors, uh, real flashy, bright colors. The brighter, the better in stained water. See if I can get this girl in the boat. She does not want to come in the boat. Wow, what an absolute beauty. I tell you what, if you want to have a lot of fun catching a lot of big smallmouth on top water, Rapala x Rap Pop, one of my favorite baits of all time when it comes to fishing on top water and surface baits. What a great day, unbelievable. Hey, I'm Tony Roach. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.